And although I like, like I said, I like Joker, it, it just rang too much like Scorsese and Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy. And we already have a Scorsese film in here. So, I mean, I respect what he did, but I mean, Todd Phillips, get out of here. <laughs> So the other day, the Academy released their list of the Oscar nominees, and I wanted to go through and what I thought was some snubs, some films I thought was overlooked. I'm in the opinion that it's probably no use in getting too upset over the Oscars and the Academy and what they choose to elect. I think there's no surprise that there's a lack of diversity in its history. There's tons of films that get overlooked constantly, just a lot of things that deserve the spotlight. I just think that it's a great chance to have like these smaller, less known films have some public arena to be shown and to get a bigger audience so that's where I'm coming from with the Academy you know the Academy is gonna Academy and I'm just gonna go over a few of the big categories like best picture directing actress and actor so it's gonna be those four all right so best picture I have to say I've seen most of these with the exception of 1917 Little Women and Ford and Ferrari or Ford v Ferrari first off the thing that stands out to me is I'm happy to see Parasite nominated personally that was my favorite movie of the year so anything that gets that more notoriety i'm all about um it's nice to see an actual foreign picture get into the main category of best picture um even though i don't think it should just be all inclusive but i think this is also the first uh korean made movie to be nominated for a uh, best picture so that's amazing and i do have my personal beliefs on what i think should be included in here i would not have included the joker in the top 10 uh, movies of the year or the best pictures i didn't even do 10 so what am i saying you know although i thought it was a good picture and i liked i think the standout was Joaquin Phoenix I would honestly would have swiped it out with Knives Out you know The Lighthouse which I think personally are snubs to me and could have been included in Best Picture a couple others I would have considered was A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood which I thought was fantastic definitely one of my favorites of the year that should have been included in there The Irishman although I like it I would have put Uncut Gems in place of it I thought what the Safties did with that was amazing um, Adam Sandler it was a great original distinct style and a great just thrilling movie for directing yet again it is great to see Bong Joon-ho in there. If anyone fully deserves it, it's him. I'm hoping Parasite will sweep the, the award show. And I think the Academy for this category and a lot of the categories uh, failed to diversify and showcase uh, films this year directed by women. Uh, we have some stuff like Little Women by Greta Gerwig, The Farewell, Lulu Wang, Funny Boy, Alma Harrell, The Nightingale, Jennifer Kent. There were just so many good films, great films that could have been nominated and directors that could have been nominated. I mean, the fact that it's only like five, that could be expanded. But I mean, honestly, I would probably take out Todd Phillips in this category and I would put in Mario Heller for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. I disagree. It was just such a perfectly and carefully crafted movie. And I don't know, it just tugged at my heartstrings and it was a beautiful message. And although I like, like I said, I like Joker, it, it just rang too much like Scorsese and Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy. And we already have a Scorsese film in here. So, I mean, I respect what he did, but I mean, Todd Phillips, get out of here. <laughs> Also, I would include Uncut Gems again for the Safties directing that. Just their distinct style and that accelerated like adrenaline pace that they craft through that is just amazing. I would have put them in there and also Jennifer Kent for The Nightingale. Although it was a super devastating film, I thought very much deserving. And I know I haven't seen Little Women, but I know there's a lot of people that could uh, make the case for that. I look forward to seeing that. For the leading actress category, I admittedly only seen A Marriage Story. I have not seen Harriet Little Women, etc. Scarlett did give a great performance, so I think that's very much well-deserved. But there are a few snubs I see in here. Again, the Academy is notorious for not acknowledging horror, despite many amazing performances. And, you know, the genre of horror, you know, spans so many different types of movies. And I thought Toni Collette for uh, Hereditary, I believe last year, she should have been nominated, I thought. If you could have just said, I'm sorry, or faced up to what happened, maybe, and we could do something with this, but you can't take responsibility for anything! And I can't forgive. And included in that is uh, Lupita Nyong'o for us. The way she crafted that dual role, I feel like definitely should have been uh, deserving of a nomination. Um, but yet again, the Academy, maybe they haven't even seen it. Maybe they don't want to watch horror films. I don't know the case. But along with that, it would also be Florence Pugh in Midsummer, which I thought she gave such a vulnerable, like heartbreaking performance with this crumbling relationship. I don't know. It was just such a, a good performance. <gasps> 
but there is consolation. She did get nominated for Supporting Actress for Little Women. I know she's one of the best up and coming actors, in my opinion. So there's a few of my, my snubs for that category. I think they could acknowledge horror. There's always great performances in horror films. So hopefully, eventually, the Academy could get better with that. And for the last category I'm highlighting today, it would be for Best Actor. And you might catch the, the flow of what I'm getting at, but you know, Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems. I think people have been overlooking this performance for one reason or another. I don't know if it's the stigma because of Adam Sandler, his history with comedies and the kind of movies he makes, but um, the way he transforms into this, this sleazy jeweler in Uncut Gems, I think is something that can't be denied. He just totally transforms. So I thought that was great. I feel like maybe people made assumptions off his name. Who knows? But I feel like that's a big snub. But admittedly, this is a very, very just challenging and great category. Ton of great performances, but I would have took off. I haven't seen Two Popes but I mean I ain't trying to see movies about popes anymore get them out of there I would have put in Adam Sandler but yeah tough category so many great performances uh, I think any of these people win here I would be um, happy Antonio Banderas Leonardo DiCaprio and for a couple other snubs and some victories I thought Willem Dafoe for supporting actor for The Lighthouse he gave such an intense grimy performance and with that accent and just all that him and Robert Pattinson had to do in that movie I thought that movie in general got overlooked um, Robert Eggers just amazing director for directing too. I don't know if I mentioned that, but Willem Dafoe should have been nominated for that. That just stands out to me big time. I am happy to see Tom Hanks nominated for Supporting Actor. I think he's one of the best performances I've seen last year with A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Just such a touching, minimal performance, but it just says so much. It's kind of understated, and that's what I love about it, because he's not going grandiose with his Mr. Rogers portrayal. It's just subtle and beautiful, and that movie just touches me on so many levels. And just a general snub of women directors and filmmakers. I think the Academy is still super regressive in that respect. With Little Women, you have The Farewell, you have Honey Boy. There's so many great women directors making great things that the voters or the Academy, all of them collectively, they're, I feel like they're not doing enough. It could be much better showing different voices and be more inclusive. So, I mean, that's what it is. Um, so hopefully it gets better in the future. So those are a few of my snubs and what I thought. The award shows are always like a huge mess. There's always going to be someone upset that something wasn't nominated because it's always just, I feel like it's a haphazard kind of award show. Things were going to get shunned, you know, like I said earlier, I want certain films to be nominated because I want it to have a bigger platform to be showcased. There are certain films that won't have the notoriety. They don't have big studios behind them. They don't have the stars, whatever it may be. I feel like there's a lot of movies that could have that platform and benefit from it. But I don't know. It's all silly. Hopefully your favorite movie you'll champion and you'll be able to uh, get people to see it. And in the comments, let me know if there was something you thought was overlooked and snubbed, whether it was a performance, a movie, some kind of craft. Let me know below because I'll be interested interested to know. And if you like our videos, you can subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we release videos. We're almost at 2K subs, which is crazy. We do videos on movies, music, entertainment, all sorts of fun stuff. 